Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amito Misha and I am speaking right from Uganda, Kampala, East Africa. For those of you watching me for the very first time, you're most welcome kind of be a part of this very beautiful, humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you have come across on this channel. Otherwise, I hope you guys are doing great and I hope that God is protecting all of you. 2019 2020 2021 and here we are entering into 2022 and uh, so many of us have gotten into depression um too much anxiety going on uh, a lot of stress like things have not been working on working out so well and um, i know some people lost hope but this is not the time for us to lose hope so uh, before we enter into 2022 i'm going to bring you so many inspirational stories and one being the one we are having today. So today I'm here with a very uh, inspirational gentleman. I'm going to call him a boy because I feel like he's in my age bracket. And that is okay. I'm sure people call me Chiba Jo Boy. Yeah, okay. So um, I want to tell you how I met this boy. So I got to know him through Facebook. I think we have a mutual friend called Chimbo Gwen. Hi, Chibu Gwen. Hi, Muhammad. We love you so much. Love you, landlord. <laughs> so, uh, I, I follow Chibu Gwen a lot. So in the process of me following him, there is a day he posted his product. He posted this. Hmm? But by then, I was not so much interested in uh, who was behind it. I was interested in this. You see, I was buying it because a friend of mine has advertised for it not because I needed it so much because I felt like this is ginger I can always get it anywhere it was until I bought it of course I had to reach out to him in one way or the other it took some time I think it took about two weeks yeah like two weeks, two weeks in between the time yeah. Shibuwe posted you and mm -hmm. the time I bought this ginger initially I wasn't minding about whoever was behind this I even thought she was like a company maybe you were like a sales boy you know <laughs> I'm sorry yeah, was the but then that boy. is the idea to be a real chibato <laughs> boy this guy delivered this I think the day he delivered I was with my mom yes. yes I was with my mom and my mom was asking me I remember my mom asking me why yeah. I was buying it since and I have you have a house time you remember right <laughs> and then I kept telling her this is my friend meanwhile that was a very first time I was meeting this guy, I kept telling my mom, this is my friend, I want to support yeah. him, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, that's how I, I and bought it. That was a great point for me, for having had the mom telling you that you have ulcers, you don't need to have ginger. Yes. And you insisted. I back. insisted and bought it. So when I went back home, I started having it. I started taking tea with this and you guys, I... One time, I even, by the way, this is something I never told you. One time, I made tea with ginger, like this real ginger. Yeah. And the then the real, yeah, the real mm. ginger we get from the garden. Yeah. And then I also made another separate cup with this one. I started drinking here and drinking there. I wanted to know how different. I wanted to know if they had added in some other things. But then the tea was still testing the same. It was that natural, you understand? So that is the reason that's why I, I wanted to reach out to you, talk to you, and you tell us everything we need to know about this. Because I feel like you're doing great. So many people don't know about you, yeah. and they really need to know about you. I'm very sure so many of you watching this video don't know much about this powdered ginger. Yeah. So here I am with Mr. Chivajo. The Chivajo boy, boy, and I want him to tell us his story. Why did you get the inspiration to turn the local ginger into powdered ginger? Like, who even does that? Okay, Mitra. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a pleasure and a honor to have, for having been hosted mm -hmm. on this amazing channel. Mm -hmm. um, I call it a, a YouTube channel for social change, mm -hmm. and I call it my YouTuber for social change. Uh -huh. I'm your <laughs> customer, like in business, it would be that, but I'm okay. your follower on You're YouTube follower, and also on Facebook mm -hmm. because I love the way you mingle the normal life mm -hmm. with the stories, mm -hmm. which you know like shows that there's a lot of transformation in our society in our societies. Yes. Yeah. So my name is Chugun Silas mm -hmm. and I'm the team leader. I love being called the team leader than the CEOs because I want to lead the team. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh you can call me CEO the founder. Sounds so bossy. No no I don't want to be bossy. <laughs> okay. And when you find me with the people I work with mm -hmm. I look like a normal person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So um my story began in 2002 on mm -hmm. 22nd July 2002 mm 
Okay. I was only seven years because I was born on 1st July 1995. Mm. I was only seven years seven in Southern too. Mm. And um, that's where my interest in story, which has changed my life, started. Mm. Um, you can't call it a sad story, but uh, I, I usually do believe that such moments are there to, to shape a yes. lot of change makers and leaders yes. who are going to change this world mm. today. Yeah. So, um, uh, as I told you, I'm from Butambala. And um, my dad is a peasant farmer mm. who stopped only in primary five, mm. who never even completed the uh, P7. And um, uh, my mom even, I think, stopped in P1. Mm. So we are depending on ginger growing mm. at home. Mm. But as I told you last time, mm. that uh, ginger farmers are cheated by middlemen. Mm. So they get very less. Mm. You can when you go there ground, sometimes you find out that farmers get less than 0.5 US dollar from a kilogram of ginger. Mm. Yet mm. big companies which I want to mention here, mm. um, most of them sell a kilogram of ginger more than 20 US dollars. Mm. You can see the margin. Mm. There is no any fair trade there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So um, we had a piece of land mm. which we are using, but uh, like a ginger. It would be kind of a prod, but it's not a small tool. You were prod, growing like, ginger? Like, uh -huh, on there. Okay. But we never had the title. Mm. So the title owners uh, wanted to take our land. land. Yes, mm. this land. Yeah. Mm. And um, now they summoned dad to, mm. to, to, to the, um, to the, to the court. Mm. So he had to go there on a Monday. Mm. And this was towards the end. Mm. Someone who never went to school. Mm. Um, someone who don't know English. Mm someone uh, like who was never going to police and court so he was puzzled like mm. what could he do what can i do mm. this is this is the land where i, I grew ginger for my mm. family mm. and where my family is situated mm. so where am i going mm. so um he had a brother in najanankumbi mm. on mm. the road mm. which goes to the airport mm. and then it was like um my wife and my son and daughters now i'm going to see the brother mm. um and then and i see if he can get a road who can stand in for us mm. in court on Monday. Mm. So when he went, um, I think because he was puzzled and had a lot of thoughts in mm. the head, mm. um, on Najanakud when he was crossing, mm. he got knocked by a, a matter to Oh dear. Yes, what we call a taxi. A taxi yes. mm. So when he got knocked, mm. um, the taxi guy came back, the driver. Let me take you back a little bit. So yeah. what happened was um, the owners of the land wanted mm. you out of the land yeah the title owners because the there are two kinds of ownership in Uganda. okay there's that person who has the title okay. who owns the land yeah. but there is chibanja ownership yeah people who bought but have no land titles yes. they also have ownership yes. and the constitution recognizes yes. them yes yes yeah. so now the title owner wanted you completely out of the without land, any compensation without any compensation yes. so your dad wanted to fight for that at yes. least get compensation yeah. and go elsewhere yes. or retain the land or retain the land so he comes to Kampala mm -hmm. to get a lawyer right yeah from okay. from to say brother who could get him a lawyer, lawyer. Okay. for him he could not get a lawyer yes from he was even he never had the money yes. and he never had any connection mm -hmm. and even how to sell lawyer you know someone from the village who is not really who has never come to Kampala and by then yeah. Lawyers were very expensive, it was very and they were very uh, scarce. And very scarce One then. or two in a in a district, you understand? Yeah. 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 Um. Then he got knocked. Mm. So when he got knocked by speeding taxi, mm. and um, he fell down, lifeless. Mm. And then um, the taxi guy saw that he was still shaking, so he had mm. some life. Mm. So he came back to knock him for the second time. That's what they do. Mm. That's what they do. Mm. So that uh, he, uh, he, dies he dies and, and completely. then completely. Mm. And then this guy doesn't have to incur a lot of expenses, yeah, because, like for medication. Mm. For those of you who are not watching, I mean, who are not understanding this, um, it, it happens a lot in Africa when uh, you're knocked, when, when a car. Um, a car driver, okay, whoever it is, knocks you. Mm -hmm. They normally want to complete you, com uh, to knock you. I mean, and, uh, uh, and kill to you completely complete. kill you. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. They want to kill you because they know when they go to the courts of law, they cannot argue with a dead person. Mm -hmm. In Luganda, there is a proverb that says, "Uh, um, 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 yeah, something like that. If you are dead, there is no way you are you are going to argue with somebody who is alive. Mm -hmm. Of course." Uh, somebody who is alive is going to 
overpower you because mm -hmm. you're dead. You can't speak out. You can't mm -hmm. explain how the whole narration was, how the whole incident went on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, back to the story. So your dad was knocked. So he was knocked for the second time, mm -hmm. and still uh, his body was still shaking. Yeah. Showing that there is still some more life. Some life. So yes. the guy was coming for the third time to okay. kill him completely. Okay. So the people who were around uh, in the watching. neighborhood, mm. they made a lot of noise, a lot of alarm. Mm. You guy want to kill this man, don't you know that he might also have children to take yes. care of? Please don't. So the guy feared and mm. went away. Yes, he was so, yeah. So when he ran away with his car, mm. so um those good people, the good Samaritans, got a, a car and mm -hmm. took the to Mulago Hospital, mm -hmm. the old Mulago Hospital. Yes, so yes. when uh, he was taken there, he spent three weeks in coma, oh, wow. lifeless, in coma, mm -hmm. without getting back to life. Mm -hmm. And um, I told you when you visit uh, a home, mm -hmm. I will show you even those photos sure. in the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, um, so, um, after like two months, mm. that was brought home. But then each month, we had to take him back to Lago. For reviews. Yes, for reviews mm. and also get him further treatment. Mm. That costed money. Because now all his limbs were damaged. Mm. The scan was showing that. Mm. And imagine a peasant farmer mm. who is doing physical work. Mm. And to do physical work, Strength does not come from the hands or mm. from the legs, no. Mm. Strength comes from the limbs. Yes, so true. he could not do farm anymore. Mm. He couldn't practice farming anymore. Mm. He could not even lift a jimmy mm. I can imagine. So he was going to be um, supported like a, a total a baby. Mm. But he could move after mm. that. He started moving on, um, how can I call them? Crutches? On the crutches, mm -hmm. and um, and then after like two years, mm -hmm. he started walking mm -hmm. in a good way. Mm -hmm. But one of the side of the eye was also affected. affected. It could be bringing tears, wow. and one side of the ear, uh, yeah. and it, it was not hearing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, now, that's when true life started. Mm -hmm. We are two, seven children. Seven, yeah. and you were there. I'm the last born. Wow. So. All my three elder sisters mm. got pregnant. Some one got pregnant at fourteen. She's called Juliet. There's no school anymore. No school anymore. Now oh. the uh, the priority is that to go to to the hospital, get fine, get fine, mm. and also getting the skin is like kerosene mm. uh, to to light those tadovers oh, yeah. at home. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm. some food mm. also at home and some clothes yes. because you cannot move naked. Mm. Yeah. So and it's all the responsibilities they made in the hands of now a mom yes. who is also a farmer. Yes. <laughs> a farm. And uh, uh, one thing I remember is then most of our mothers were not so much into active working. Yeah. They were basically yeah. housewives. Yeah. They were like one and the two, daddies two. were like the breadwinners. Yeah, fathers were breadwinners. It was like one to two. Yeah out of 50 yeah. women that would work but the yeah. rest were housewives yeah mm. so and my three brothers mm. they also dropped out of school oh, so they started also to quay here yeah, mm. starting looking for kamani from anywhere mm. going to kampala mm. and um what class were you at that time i was in p2 too. And you remember all these things? Yes. My mind remembers. I don't even from remember three things years. that happened to me at 10 years. Even everything which happened. Okay, of course I, 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 I As far yes. as my three years, mm. I do remember them. Oh. Yes. So my mind always remember a lot. Mm. Even if someone now died 10 years, I can tell you someone died this year. Oh. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, I can tell you someone died in 2007. Wow. Yes. Mm. Or in 2003. Mm. Yes. Um, and then, um, did you drop out of school? I did not. You did I not. I loved education. Even that you were even the last born. I was the last born, mm. and now I was also a performer. Mm. I was a good performer since then. I was number one in class. Wow. From P one to P six. Wow. Which school was that? Um, it was my younger primary school. It's a UPE school. In Butambala. In Butambala. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm. So. Um, I, I, I was a performer, and now mm -hmm. we started to look for strategies to find mom. So my mom was like, if uh, these old brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. I cannot support them, mm -hmm. let me see trouble. Even if I don't wear a good mercy, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'll make sure that you work and, and, you know, and toil to make sure that you at least 
you reach somewhere mm. in school. Mm. So we started doing a number of things to get educated, to get to get school fees. Mm -hmm. One was um, to work on people's farms mm -hmm. after working uh, in the morning at so our first, ginger farm. Wait a minute. At this moment, all yeah. this was happening. Had you paused um, planting ginger? No, we had, uh, we, we had we, we had no capacity now to grow much ginger. So it's the only demand. So she could still grow some little ginger. Mm. But the money from the ginger still, it mm. was little because of the cheating middle. Man. At, this, at this point, was the land still yours? Uh, uh, so what happened, mm. so the brother to, to my dad yes. came to court yes. on that day they had to be there. So yes. he brought all the, the letters from Lagos Pito okay. and, yes. and the photos and the yes. judge was like, so the judge paused the case. Oh, was like, no, okay, yes. the, uh, the guy, the gentleman needs to get better mm -hmm. into his conditions. Mm -hmm. You guys, there's no way you can continue this case. Yes. So by that time, we were safe yes. because, you know, the, the judge was empathetic to the family. Yes, yes. yes and, that was good. Uh, mm -hmm. and that guy should be blessed. I don't know him, but the judge mm -hmm. needs to be blessed by God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then, um, because the money we could get from the ginger, mm -hmm. it was little, like Very for little. the necessities. Mm -hmm. Now we had to work on the evenings, mm -hmm. like from four to seven, mm -hmm. on people's farms, mm -hmm. like for um, for the coffee farms and mm -hmm. also some other garden, mm -hmm. so that we now get the money for my school fees. Mm -hmm. So my mom also, in the after working in the night, mm -hmm. he could wake up around four mm -hmm. and start. Um, um, how can I call it? Um, what is this name? Oxiga. Frying. Yeah, flying. Yes. Uh, like samosas, cassava, yes. and there is what we call namungoni. That yes. one uh, the, the, with the. Um, it's like mandazi or something. Uh -huh, like yes. That one, but it has the rice inside. Yes, yes, yes. yes that oh, one. that thing is so nice. <laughs> it's and nice. Cool. Oh my god. Yes. So, I imagine mm -hmm. at that age, mm -hmm. I could come with my bucket on the head. At school? It's head, I can't even lift it. It has part namungoni. Part fried cassava, part samosas. I have to sell. Just think about the jazz in class. So Wait. people used to come on the board, some stubborn, some stubborn pupils, mm -hmm. with a uh, chop and paint me. Oh so from, from my home, there's a kind of a hill, kind of going to school. Mm -hmm. So they could paint me uh, on the chalkboard. This is, uh -huh. and they could call me those names. This is Cyrus Namungodi. Wow. When I'm, I'm, I'm having a big bucket That's and they could, they could make the cartoon of me having a big bucket, like, mm -hmm. like my head was like, yeah, <laughs> like I was, I, I was falling because of that. Mm -hmm. So, but they could not make me stop mm -hmm. because I knew this is where I get the money yes. to go to school. To school yes. Yeah. And then on weekends, we mm -hmm. used to go and also brew the, no, the local beer. Which okay. they call Mwengeri Gere. I think you know it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the bananas add in some, some leaves and then add in sorghum. So okay. when it gets ready, we take it to kind of a forest mm -hmm. and we, we pass it through a process called fractional distillation. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, through the fractional distillation, then you make the ethanol, what mm -hmm. you call waraji. Yes. yes. I know all that process. Wow. We did that process mm -hmm. when I, from when I was seven years Two? to 20 years. When I was up to high school, wow. and um, um, so and also I, I told you sometimes we go to the forests also collect fruits. Mm. That's why I love the environment, mm. like the um, matungulu, uh, the fruit, a lot of fruits from the environment, mm. kenebe, and sell them to the people in the nearby trading center mm. because you know those people love them, but you know they are lazy to gun them. Yeah. Them, yeah, and I also told you that sometimes I used to collect like those plastic bottles. Yes, you told people me. People throw yes. it away and yes. then take them to those yes. local juice makers who sell them we see directly to mm. people. Yeah. Mm. And then those are ways I could try to get the school fees. Yeah. So, um, and then luckily enough, um. From uh, from UPE school, mm -hmm. I man I managed to get twenty one points in UPE. Wow. It was a second grade, um, mm -hmm. P7, but right? yes, mm -hmm. in P seven. Yes. So I, I I got a grade second uh, second, second grade, grade. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I, I got half bursary mm -hmm. to go for for my O level. Same same yeah. area, but mm -hmm. So my, my first one was in Mawakota in PG. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that's where I went. Okay. And then I started there for two for, for two, two years. Two years. For okay. two years. Now I'm senior two. Mm. And then 
uh, uh, I got another school. Mm-hmm. I got only half in half bursary in Lugazi. Okay. Yeah. Lugazi. So a good Samaritan uh, heard about my story mm-hmm. and then he connected me to the to to to, to Noah's Ark. Okay. So it has a branch in yeah, it has a branch in Lugaga and Lugazi. Mm-hmm. But by that time I went to the Lugazi branch. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, the, um the headmistress by that time she's called Madame Chilabo. If mm-hmm. she can see this video, I'm very thankful. You mm-hmm. added a lot on my on my journey. Mm-hmm. So she gave me a bursary and then I had to in, on hot days I had to go back, do what I was telling you, to get yes, the, money, the money to get everything. The which I had to and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um it was not easy still. Mm-hmm. I could go to school mm-hmm. without even two kilograms of sugar, mm-hmm. without even ten salt. But mm-hmm. I knew where I could did come from. Mm-hmm. The you little school, right? it could do, yes. Mm-hmm. And um I was never I never got any person to visit me on a visitation day. Mm-hmm. But I could stay strong. All this time dad was still sick. Dad was still there. So he was a bit recovering, mm. but he could not do anything. Yeah, sure. Yeah, even up to day he lives, mm. but he can't still do any yeah. physical work yeah. because he was a farmer. So mm. he's there at home. Mm. Um, and then um, when I finished senior four, mm. like um, I performed well, mm. so I got um, twenty seven. Yeah, a well, fast grade. Yes. yes, because I, I was a performer, mm. and um, and then. Um, now money got lost again. Mm. I had to go back to my mom and we started working again on okay. the farms. Mm. Uh, and I, I used also to do um, supporting on the building. Um, you call it chipotle or kupota, yes. like working on, oh. uh, on the buildings. Eh? You, you the full year. Yes. Sites and uh, uh-huh. I missed work. studying the full year. Okay. When I completed the senior four, mm. I never had money to go to high school, mm. like to senior five and senior six. Mm. And um, I had to work. To do all that mm. to get the money now to go to high, so high school, mm-hmm. and now when I went to a high school, mm-hmm. I with that money, you know, I wanted to be a heart surgeon mm-hmm. so that I could support people, mm-hmm. um, like children from vulnerable communities mm-hmm. who don't have money to go to India True. for heart surgeries. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to be a heart surgeon so that I do the, the, the surgeries for free to them. Mm-hmm. I think that's how I was passionate. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to do sciences, so mm-hmm. I did sciences and um. So the school I had gotten, it was their first time to do sciences, so they never had teachers, no resources, mm-hmm. and now I did not get the good points yes, for university. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, the points I got could only not take into university for sponsorship. Mm-hmm. And now, I could remain there now maybe to go for personal sponsorship, yeah, private for your own money and, and you know what it takes to be at university, how hard that is. Hard mm-hmm. Yes. And, um, OMG, so the life got another block in the middle. Mm. Yes. Then uh, I went back in the village. Mm. Um, when I went back to the village, mm. um, I was like, Mom, what could we do? So mm. I started to see my mom getting a bit depressed mm. because we had suffered. Mm. And she had suffered mm. to miss everything, to see me at least reach somewhere at education. Mm. Mm. And now it's like, Things were not working on. Done, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I had the I had, there's an interesting story here mm. again. I had a friend I started with high school. Mm. Um he's called Ibra. So he's born from Pigi. Mm. So um I called him. Mm. I was like, you know, I'm here stuck. Mm. It's like there is in some is institute in Pigi. You can mm. come mm. and ask for a scholarship, maybe for a diploma. Mm. And then I was like, okay. I had some money mm. from 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 Chipotigo, from working on the buildings for construction. Mm. And um, I went to some easy. So I went there and, um, you know, I tried to look for scholarship, for scholarship, and I did not get it. Mm. So within the process, I find the girl, she, and then she told me, you know, there is an institute there, up, mm. like she was not convenient. And um, they train youths to do tailoring and to do a lot of um, you know, you need to be an econo, mm. kind of vocational yeah. skills. Mm. And then I was like, like I'm always inquisitive. Mm. I need to go there, can you take me there? Mm. And then now I went there. Mm. So when I went there, I found out that the place was interesting. Mm. So the place is called the Innovation Academy. Mm. So they were they're training um, youths like to become social entrepreneurs. Mm. So I don't know how God does his things. Yeah. So when I went there, mm. um, I found that the intake 
was coming on Monday mm. and it was a Friday. Mm. So I registered. Mm. And then I did not go back in Tambala. Mm. I stayed in Mpidi. To, uh, to that friend mm. of mine, Libra. yes, mm. to the, uh, it was not there, but to the mother's press. Mm. Uh, greetings, Ibra. Mm. Uh, I'm really grateful. Mm. And then when I stayed there, Ibra. Yeah, mm. and when I stayed there, uh, I went on Monday. Mm. When I went back, mm. uh, luckily enough, they, uh, they selected 15 mm. out of around 16, mm. and I was among the selected mm. ones. Mm. So I went there, that's where my entrepreneurship journey started. Wow. Mm. Yes, so I first started the first enterprise working with youths mm. to support people with disabilities. Mm. That's how Muhammad got to know me oh, yeah. because he's also enthusiastic yes. about supporting people yes. who are living with disabilities. Yes. And um, I even partnered with him on a certain event okay. and took inclusive masks, uh, oh, like yeah. voluntarily eh, for the children. Mm -hmm. I just yes. the at the Kampala that. School of the Deaf in yes. Tinda. Yes. yes, that's how I got to connect with him the, the, okay. dearly. Yeah. And um, now, um, you know, within when I joined now the entrepreneurship sector, mm. so I started getting a lot of nominations and a lot of achievements and a lot of discovering myself. Mm. Um, now, um, for example, of recent, mm. I got um, uh, a chance to 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 be part of the prestigious Mandela Washington Fellowship. Mm -hmm. This is the most it. prestigious leadership fellowship mm. globally. Mm. It was started by. Um, uh, by Obama, the great mm. Barack Obama, mm. and um, I've been part of the leaders for 2021, mm. and um, the certificate of completion mm. is hand signed yeah. by the current president of the US, wow. Joe Biden. Wow. Yes, yeah. and uh, it's really prestigious. And then with the support of the training, mm. um, there is what they call a focus project. Mm. And then my focus project was like, now I need to go back to Tambara and create a solution for the ginger farmers since time immemorial. Mm -hmm. The farmers have been cheated by the middle men. And I think they've been waiting for their own son of the soil mm -hmm. to create a solution, mm -hmm. which is going to create a kind of fair trade value chain for ginger, mm -hmm. whereby farmers inclusively benefit From with the their families, mm -hmm. with their children, whereas adding value to the ginger mm -hmm. and take this ginger to the world. Yeah. So on 20th July uh, this year, so we've only celebrated four months. Where this company has only celebrated four months. Are you for real? I'm for real. I'm so proud to be one of the people who have tested this this year because I thought you guys were like two years old or something. No, oh. just four months old. Wow. Yeah. I'm an alumni, right? Yes, you're an alumni. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. so um so now when I came back, mm. I, I, I said we need to do things beyond what people see. Wait a minute, when you were at the institute, did you learn anything to do with making this? No. Turning this from... No, we learned a lot on mm -hmm. how to create solutions okay. which benefit the societies, yes. social enterprises. Yes. They both generate income, yes. but as well as supporting the communities mm -hmm. without also destroying the mother environment. Mm. So that's what the enterprise means. Basically. So you go back to Tambala? Uh -huh. and, uh, mm. Yes, with the, after getting my um, training from Lehigh University in USA. Mm. And now, um, through, the Mandela, through the Mandela the Washington Mandela. Fellowship, mm. Mm. Uh, which is sponsored by the American government. Mm. Uh, I it think, was an online course, right? Yeah, it, it was online, mm. but uh, this coming year, um, fellows, we shall be going to USA oh. for uh, for an on ground experience. Wow. Yes, mm -hmm. so it selects um, incredible leaders, mm -hmm. incredible younger leaders wow. between the age of twenty five and thirty five, mm -hmm. and I was only twenty five. Yeah. Yes, I, I was among the youngest. Mm -hmm. uh, I was among the people who were thirties. Mm -hmm. You know, people who were coming driving. Mm -hmm. Boy, coming on the border border. Board. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going for interview at the USM was like, ah, will I make it through? I can imagine. But because mm -hmm. uh, I was talking about what I love most in mm -hmm. my journey, mm -hmm. I made it through and I wow. was recognized as an incredible leader across mm -hmm. the African mm -hmm. continent. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Mm. And um, now, I started this. Mm. How? Let me tell you how I started it. Mm. I went to Tambala, and then I met two Indian farmers. I told them to give me five kilograms that I'm going to create a solution mm. to benefit and transform the whole district mm -hmm. and the whole ginger growing region. Mm. 
they gave, they gave me five kilograms. Mm. I dried them. Do you know a chino for pounding? Yes. Like dinner yes. Uh, yes. Which you use for pounding. Yes. So I pound, I dried it for like two weeks, and mm. now I started pounding. Mm. After pounding, I got the other sieve, which we use in the village to sieve uh, the, the 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 flour. The flour. Mm. So I sieved the first ones, mm. and I will show you the video mm. with that first prototype. Mm. So after prototyping, and I saw that it was working, mm. I tested with around five people. Mm. And after testing, um, they told me it's really nice. And now, mm. we, and I was like, you know, I need to make a product which looks like top notch. Like someone sees the packaging and it's the nice product. How long was it taking to dry up? So it takes like two weeks when mm. it's really dry season, like mm. it's sunny days. Yes, yes. And when there is some interception with the rain, it can mm. take like three weeks okay. using solar, like using sunshine. Yes. So the process is. We get ginger from the farmers, and now we employ the youths. When you go to Tambala, you saw the process mm, next year. Yes. And now we employ the youths who take to the water sources mm. to wash it mm. with our supervision. Mm. And now, after washing it, we pack it again mm. and take it to a place where we are going to do the cutting. Okay, okay. Cutting is the second phase. Okay. So in cutting, I think you've seen the photos of the women cutting yes, on the Facebook. Facebook yes. yes. So we employ now women. These are vulnerable women. Mostly, we prioritize single so moms mothers, and mm -hmm. widows yes. who have a lot of grandsons and daughters. Yes, to to, they come with their knives and cut on on um, on, on the taplings, a mm -hmm. yes. So after we dry it on the matunduba, yes. we cover it in the evening and then we open it in the morning. In the morning. Mm -hmm. So after drying for that period, I've told you mm -hmm. now um, it's already dry, mm -hmm. and now we transfer it to Chitemu on Masaka Road, mm -hmm. where we do the grinding. And, and and then make this final ginger product. You still pound with the local? No current. Currently, um, I, I have a small grinding machine. Oh. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I have a use small the, Do you use the same grinding machine that uh, they use to grind the the, the maize into posho? Um, still, that machine can do that. Mm. But though this, the machine I'm using, if it is going to make posho. It does it in two phases. Oh. It first make it broken mm -hmm. and now you take it to the second phase oh. to make it like a final powder. Okay. Yeah. So what makes this ginger the mm. best ginger in East Africa mm. is that it's a hundred percent natural. Mm. We don't mm. add anything. Neither spices, neither do we add preservatives. It's indigenous. Chibajo means indigenous mm, to Tambara farmers. Yes, true. You had not asked me. So Chibajo <laughs> means indigenous ginger. Okay, so okay. this indigenous ginger, I was it's a place. preserves. It's not a place. Either. No. Oh. So for the farmers, when, for them, they're like, eh, oh, yeah, but is that Chibajo? Hey. Meaning this guy has gotten a lot of Chibajo this season, oh. like the Chibajo, you know. So it, um, so they have a sign print. Yes, so yes. for them, when they talk about Chibajo, they mean the indigenous breed. It's like Uh-huh. Uh -huh. okay. So it self-preserves mm. itself. Mm. And um, now we wanted to you know to, to, to show people that all the ginger which has been on the market, and most of them is from Kenya. For example, from a tropical heat. Yes. And that ginger is spiced. You know, it's spiced ginger. This is a hundred percent natural mm -hmm. ginger. Mm -hmm. And when you have this ginger, mm -hmm. you you know, um, you don't need to add anything. Mm -hmm. You feel the natural ginger. Mm -hmm. You don't need even to have the roots anymore to start pa no <laughs> like corner corner, mm -hmm. knocking the, the roots and then you mm -hmm. put it in the kettle. No, mm -hmm. and this one gives you a solution to use it in minimal quantities. That's um. Besides that, I wanted you to tell us what someone can use this ginger for oh. except for tea okay yeah because now some of us use it for tea alone okay. mm, so I... this ginger it has numerous benefits mm. not limited to pea spicing mm. uh cooking mm. your best soup home like kitchen chicken, um, chicken mm. um beef. beef and a lot more and rice, Pilao, yes. rice. Yes. I am um, used yes, it for rice yeah. before and twice Huh. Yes. So yeah. we are always hearing a lot of COVID waves, mm. and this is one of the main recipe oh, yeah. for making COVID nineteen concoctions oh, yeah. for boosting your immunity. Mm. Like you add it with lemon and garlic, mm. and then you know even uh, um, COVID waves will run away from you. They run away. <laughs> yes, we'll be using this yes, you're going to be using now. this one. Mm. So this is now your policeman yes. <laughs> for COVID, mm. and now you can also use it. I use it mostly home. Mm. 
my fridge always has natural juice with ginger. Oh, really? You don't get tired taking your juice home. Sure. Any kind of juice, mango, anything, as long as it's natural juice, add in there. Sometimes you see, sometimes you go to a restaurant okay. and then you order for juice. So uh, sometimes they'll ask you, Cafe Jeff does, this, does yeah. this a lot, they'll ask you, do you want some ginger or okay. not? Okay. And when you add the ginger, it, it turns, it changes the, the tasting, yes. it, it gets better. Yeah. Mm. And, and you know, appetizing more. Yeah. Ginger, make, ginger is like uh, chili. It makes it more appetizing. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, um, apart from that, you can also use it to for baking home, baking oh. cakes, oh. biscuits, oh. and also for industrial processing of juices, mm -hmm. and also biscuits and chocolates. Yeah, biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot. It can do. There is a lot it can do mm -hmm. for you at your home. Wow. Yeah. So our our goal is to make sure that farmers get meaningful income by us maximizing the profits they get from their ginger produce mm -hmm. so that they are able to take their children to school mm -hmm. their children don't need to suffer like me mm -hmm. so that they're able to build decent homes for their children mm -hmm. and they're also able to live decent lives mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. and their families mm -hmm. so that's why we came up so we are the company for ginger so are you trying to encourage everyone out there who is um, who is planting ginger that in case you have a farm and you're planting ginger, you can as well help them out or maybe buy from them or something? So in the near future, mm. uh, we are planning to scale. First we started with Mutambara, mm. but when the market expands, for example, more people watching us, they are going to order and connect us to different wholesale um, sales partners yes, and yes. for retail mm. and for export, mm. you know, because... Wait a minute, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. If there is anyone out there watching us yeah. and they want this okay. delivered to them, mm -hmm. wherever they are, maybe in the US, maybe mm -hmm. in the Middle East, wherever they are, West Africa, um, mm -hmm. South Africa, do, do, do you deliver? Mm, currently, mm. We, we, we've not delivered beyond Uganda. Okay. But apart from only Dubai, mm, we, have, Dubai. Yeah, mm. we have a sales partner in Dubai mm. uh, who can you know, uh, supply to you if you are in UAE. Yes. But currently, we've not supplied beyond Uganda. But we are planning, after attaining UMPS soon, we are planning to start exporting okay. to all outside the countries. But in Uganda currently, mm -hmm. I can deliver myself to you, or you can go to our sales outlets. For example, here, this is our sales outlet oh, yeah. at mm -hmm. Estate Rising, located at Tripatima's Mamoru in Zambia, just yeah. after uh, the American, American Embassy. Embassy. That's on one. Road. Yeah. Yes, that's where we are right road. now. That's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Acacia? You, Aka behind Acacia, the Bount Fuduka, yes. we have plenty of ginger there. Mm -hmm. When you are cement, you pass by, check the 100% natural indigenous ginger mm -hmm. of Chivaju. Ask them where is Chivaju. And um, in Nakaselo, for the corporates mm -hmm. who pass by Nakaselo, there is a restaurant called Yugi Restaurant, mainly having a lot of uh, food recipes for the Japanese. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called Yugi Restaurant. There's also ginger there. Is it opposite anything that is familiar so that people can easily get there? Um, it's uh, like, like next to Nakaselo Primary School. Oh, nice. That would okay. be next to Nakaselo yeah. Primary mm -hmm. School, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they can also reach uh, directly to us mm -hmm. um, via WhatsApp. Kindly say your plus name. Plus 256 756 or you can also send an email, Cyrus uh, Chugund39 at gmail.com. So Cyrus is C Y R U S. Chugundu K I double G U N D U 39 at gmail.com. And you also have the natural ginger, mm -hmm. the first one to be produced in East Africa, so like if, Amido. If there is anyone out there, maybe in one of those countries where you haven't reached, who wants to be like um, your salesperson, like you send them ginger, just in case you're done mm -hmm. with the whole mm -hmm. UN, um, UNBS. UNBS process, yeah. uh, do you think you can work with them, supply yes, to them? And yes, then they, yes. They, we are looking for a lot of sales partners from all corners of the globe currently, okay. so that they can be able to be our sales partner. Yes. Ah, this was, you know, I've never done a video this marathon. Like we start talking from day uh, from A to Z, mm. and we are talking about something. 
thank you so much this was so helpful i'm very sure you guys have learned something and um, i'm going to request you to tell us how much this goes for for whoever is watching mm -hmm. us out there i know so many people would 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 want by the way you guys i'm going to help cyrus do the deliveries in case you want I, i'll be helping him out because i'm i'm thinking he's going to be having so many orders after this video so if you want some ginger some a hundred percent natural ginger from uganda by the chiradjo boy kindly reach out to him i'll be putting his uh, telephone contacts down below guys reach out to him cyrus if you get orders uh, kindly reach out to me i can also do some deliveries for you thank you because so we are here to support each other so you guys if you want me to deliver to you kindly order i'm going to deliver to you actually if you call cyrus and you want me to be the one to deliver kindly let cyrus know that i want amito to deliver <laughs> my ginger let's support lovely. this boy yeah. please let's support him he is yeah. he's part of us and um, we want the future generation to learn better. Yeah. Uh, these are the things that are yet to, 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 to give them hope for yeah. a better Uganda, a better world, you know. Yeah, yeah, basically, I've not seen so many people, so many young people yeah. do such uh, great stuff. But if somebody comes out to do such, then we need to really support them. Thank you so much, Cyrus. And I, as a Mito Mitra and my yeah. family, we just wish you the best. And uh, we truly, we truly going to support you guys. Please let's support Cyrus. Let's buy this jinga, please. I beg you, let's buy it from him. You say how much is it? So um, this is five hundred gram packet. It goes for twenty five thousand Ugandan Yeah, Ugandan shillings. Some of you are going to hear twenty five thousand. I'm like, oh my god, that's a lot of money, you guys. Our dollar is at one, uh, three thousand six hundred. <laughs> That's even less than eighty dollars. <laughs> yes, it's at one dollar is equivalent to three thousand six hundred yes. Ugandan shillings. So that is approximately seven dollars. Seven dollars, approximately for just these five hundred grams. And this is the most affordable one, mm -hmm. even for that spiced ginger on the market, it's which so is not natural. Mm. Um, this same quantity would go for over thirty-five, okay. like for over ten US dollars. Oh. Yes. So guys, what are you waiting for? Place <laughs> those orders, please. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So um, I'm very sure you guys have learned a lot. If there is any, first of all, how many people um, do you employ? So currently we have thirty women okay. who do the cutting. Okay. Those are the first ones, okay. and we have ten boys, the like ten youths who do yes. the washing of the game. Yeah. Okay. And we have three people currently okay. the three I work with in the production. Okay. But we are looking forward in our next year so to having triple that impact. So currently you are employing at least forty-two people. Yes. Wow, you guys. In four months of inception. Wow. So you guys. You have to know that when you support Chilajo, buy ginger from him, he's going to also support 42 families out there because once he pays them, they're also looking after their families and making their families better. So if you support him, you're supporting 42 families out there. Let's support this boy, please. Thank you so much, Amito. You're welcome. And uh, the amazing family of Amito Mitra yes. YouTube channel. Any last words for us? Um, so my yeah, last words would be that um, mostly to the youths outside there, mm -hmm. you don't need to give up. So the more challenges uh, usually which you encounter you on your journey, mm -hmm. usually when you kind of like when you, you, you simplify the equation, it means uh, the ending will have a lot of more achievements okay. or a lot of more happiness. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do today is looking for where there is a, a, a challenge, mm -hmm. where there is a problem to the humanity, mm -hmm. to the human beings, mm -hmm. and they turn that problem into a solution oh, for yeah. humanity. Oh, yeah. Automatically, mm -hmm. the recognitions, the money will find you on the way. Is it in the is it in the transport industry, in the agriculture, in the health, in the communication, anywhere? Just look for that problem and create a solution for it. I have also learned something. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, kindly go and follow me on Instagram, Amita Mitra. For those of you who follow me, I have the slogan of 
do not limit yourself that is what i believe in i don't limit myself if there is something you feel you can do always go ahead and do it so if you have listened to his story so well uh, there is a time he was doing Mwengedi Gede, the Waraji. There is a time he was doing um, uh, ginger with his family in the farm. And there is a time he was selling Namongodi and all that. He did not limit himself, you know. He stretched out so hard to make sure that he becomes who he is today. I can't wait to see you in my next video because definitely I'm going to be with Cyrus. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe like this video if you like this video i'll get more motivation to look for so many other inspirational people to talk to you and tell you about their business secrets thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye 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 love you <laughs>